Hey guys, this is a proper task guide for Shootout Picnic. For this task, you have to eliminate 15 scavs while on woods. And so for this task, you can use any weapon and wear any gear that you want to or are comfortable with in order to kill the scavs on woods. Usually at this point in the wipe, I will be working on leveling up my sniper skills. So typically at this point, I am rocking a Mosin, or you can also just bring in a cheap SKS if you have one. But I normally also do this passively while working away at other woods tasks just because this particular one is a dead end task. So there is no rush to do this one alone. And there are also many tasks that do bring you to woods throughout a wipe and some of which will require you to use a certain weapon. So since this one does not have any requirements, then you can just do it at the same time. So now I will show you guys a couple of routes that you can use when going to woods with the primary goal of killing scavs. So here's a map of woods with two different paths on it and basically if your goal going into this raid is to kill as many scavs as possible and you're not super familiar with woods then hopefully these will help you out. My preferred route is to get one of the 10 spawns that are up in this scav town area which is one of the best locations for scavs on the map. So you can go in and clear the 2-5 to five scavs out of this area and then loot the buildings and then you could actually take the car extract and reset if you wanted to. Especially if you are trying to increase your rep with fence or you can actually continue on the route if you do need more scavs. So if you do want to move on with the path then we will head towards the abandoned village which does have the cultist circle and usually 1-3 to three scavs running around this area. Typically they are pretty ratty and they do hide in the tall grass or behind the buildings here and then they will try and shoot you in the back as you pass by so just be aware of that as you do pass through this section after clearing the abandoned village then i do move up towards the connex overlook and scav bunker areas of the map and in between these two separate areas you can have between one and six scavs that do spawn here but just be cautious because you can actually have the goons spawn in this area as well and even though they will count towards the task for you they are definitely not worth it because they are not fun to fight on this map whatsoever one tip that I will say is that as you see me heading towards the scav bunker, I do typically throw a grenade or a flashbang towards the area so that I can listen for voice lines from any AI that are in the vicinity. And that just allows me to know approximately where I should be looking for the scavs as well as how many of them are going to be there waiting for me as I make my way up into the scav bunker area. It will also give me the voice lines of the goons if they do happen to have spawned here, so I can at least be a little bit prepared for my imminent death. And it can also be a good idea for you to go down into the actual bunker since there can be a scav that's sitting in the far back room sometimes, and then you will also have a gold spawn that you can check for while you are down there. After clearing this area, you can stop and loot up at the USEC camps, or you can just bypass these areas altogether and then just continue on the path towards the checkpoint area, where I will typically see between one and three different scavs that spawn here, as well as the potential for a colored labs key card that spawns inside the usv on the center console and you can check that as you are moving through the area this checkpoint area as well as the next area are also going to be great for long distance scav kills for tasks such as the tarkov shooter line so keep that in mind for your upcoming tasks dailies or weeklies so after clearing the checkpoint, we will make our way towards the ZB-14 extract and then the scav house areas where you will typically find between two and eight different scavs that can spawn here, especially if you do add in the attachment cabin area where you will frequently find between one and two different scavs roaming around the shack. And like I mentioned before, the scav house is an excellent area for long distance shots on scavs, but the scavs can oftentimes be annoyingly accurate. So just try to not engage them while being out in the open as much as you can because it would suck for you to get basically to the extract and then be killed with it in your sights by an AI scav now the other route that i have is if you do happen to get one of the six different spawns that put you between the ruaf roadblock and then the un roadblock then basically we will be going into the med camp first where you will typically get between one and six different scavs as well as a bunch of medical supplies and provisions one thing to keep in mind though is that this area is very highly trafficked especially at the beginning of raids by pmcs and also by player scavs at the middle to late stages of the raid and one thing to point out to you guys is that when you are leaving the med camp it is also surrounded by huge wide open areas on basically all sides so that you will not have much cover if somebody is camping you out waiting for you to leave this area. But after I leave here I do head up towards the spine area that leads up towards the huge mountain at the center of the map and typically along the spine on either side there is one to four scavs as well as a few sight lines to potentially take out the sniper scav on top of the mountain and these scavs also like to hide into the little crevices of the spine so just be aware of that. And once I do clear the spine I will hug up along the mountain and then make my way to the sniper rock or some people call it the dickhead rock and I typically will avoid the sawmill area at this point. As you are crossing the road towards the sniper rock if you had hadn't already got them then you could potentially check on the sniper scav spawn again at this point and if he is up there then you can take him out and basically once we get to the sniper rock there is not any scavs that do spawn here it is just a landmark for you to then move towards the checkpoint area and then onwards towards zb14 and then the scav house on your way to outskirts just like the previous path and then you can just extract and then reset and come back if you need to. And just so you guys know, one of the worst possible scenarios is that you get one of the eight spawns that are close to the scav house in the outskirts area. 
basically 80% of the time that you do spawn on woods, you will have the outskirts extract. But if you do get one of these spawns, then you will have the UN or RUF roadblock extracts, and it will realistically cut down on the amount of scavs that you can potentially come across by probably half. But if you do happen to get that spawn, then you can just flip the route and follow whatever path that you want, and hopefully you get a decent amount of scavs that do spawn for you, and that you don't run into a bunch that have been already killed. So hopefully you guys found this guide useful and did help you to complete this task. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video, and if you're still here at the end of it, I definitely appreciate you, and have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week, so if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the twitch and you want to join the discord community then just type exclamation point discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link and if you don't use twitch then i do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description and we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels so there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have as always thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day